Oof. Hello, Hammerheads. <clears throat> Thanks for tuning in. Just made this curry. Well, I'm deciding to have a little bowl of it now. You know, I'll... Obviously, I'm going to... Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's a nice curry. Yep. I'll have a bowl of that now, I think. And, um... Just watch this thing on telly, right? This massive piece of chicken and that. Hmm. See, that's the best way to do chicken when you're doing a curry or something. <clears throat> Marinate it. Either put it under the grill or in the oven. Otherwise, it just turns out a fucking rubber. Right. I was watching this documentary about. Ted Bundy, <clears throat> very very evil man. He, nobody knows exactly how many women he murdered during his reign of fucking terror, but it's got to be close to a hundred, because he was like killing like sometimes two and three a day. You know what I mean? He's, he's probably the most terrifying serial killer that I have ever read about. And I've read a few books about this fucking maniac. You know. I mean, what kind of serial killer, like, knocks a woman out, drags her up into the mountains, and goes back down, Knocks another woman out, drags her back up to where she is, then goes back down. Knocks another woman out, drags her, and then in turn rapes the woman, tortures her to death, kills her in front of the ones that's tied up who's watching, terrified and screaming and everything. And he's loving it all. You don't get many serial killers quite that evil you know what I mean and after I've said all that do you want a little bit of chicken <laughs> no I'll have it then see mm. I read this book hey, a couple of years back oh I can't even Remember the or there's two authors who wrote it. Hugh something or other bloody but the thing is though it was a an okay book about Ted Bundy. It was called The Only Living Witness. But Anne Rice does a better job with her book, The Stranger Beside Me. Anne Rice, what am I talking about? Fucking, oh, what's her name again, man? Anne Rule. Anne Rice, she writes vampire books. Am I fucking stupid or what? I'm ahead. Sorry about that. Anne Rule, The Stranger Beside Me. And there's also another novel about Ted Bundy, um, The Deliberate Stranger. I've never read that one. I've seen the miniseries, Mark Harmon played the part of him. And he says even when I was, even his dog wouldn't come near him when he was immersed so deeply in that character. Mm, weird. But, yeah, if I had to choose a top ten of serial killers, Number one would definitely be him. Like, the worst serial killers, you know what I mean? Because he was an evil fucker. 
Even worse than John Wayne Gacy. I mean, yeah, John Wayne Gacy went went to the fucking death. Where he got lethal injection, didn't he? And the last thing he said was, kiss my ass. And, um, well, he raped and murdered 33 boys, didn't he? Mm, I've read a few books about him and all. But, um, Ted Bundy, that's quite hot, that. <laughs> Ted Bundy, <laughs> wow. Ted Bundy, he got electrocuted. Oh, God. Yeah, it was 1989. And deservedly so. There's people outside the prison on the morning of the execution with banners and all sorts and burn Bundy burn and yeah he should have done he, he was an evil fucking bastard because you know people trying to justify these serial killers actions like oh well he had a bad childhood I've had a fucking horrendous childhood I've never murdered anybody I wouldn't even contemplate it. You know what I mean? So don't give us that fucking shit. <clears throat> you, know, you know, it doesn't work like that. You have to be deranged to start with. And I'm a firm believer also about, no, it's not your upbringing. Yes. Sometimes it does largely contribute to it, but it's not, you know, that's one of them things. You're either born like that or you're not. I mean, Christ, you have to have it instilled in there. Oh, yeah, it, it doesn't help. Look at Dennis Nilsson. The reckoning he never got over is seeing his granddad die. And that's why, and that's bullshit. Ooh, he was scared of being lonely. So he killed 15 fucking blokes. Nah. It's all to do with your state of bloody well mind. You know what I mean? If you've got a sound mind and you've had a troubled past, you can get through life. Only the weak slip through the net and go out there and commit horrendous crimes and kill indiscriminately. Like fucking Peter Sutcliffe, for instance. Why did he go on a killing spree? Well, they reckon it was because oh, he thought his wife, Sonia, was having an affair. So he thought, oh, I'll pay it prostitute for sex to get me all back but she ripped him off and apparently that's what tipped him over the edge but I don't know who knows you know what I mean people like that they don't deserve to be on this fucking planet end of story I don't give a fuck what kind of upbringing they've had See you later, Ahmeds. I'm going to finish this curry and fuck off the bed, right? Goodbye. I love you all.